Riverside, they always get messed up pretty bad. Richard Gavin, who lives near Riverside, says he's nervous about what the next few days might bring when our area feels the effects of Hurricane Ian. The reason people here are worried is because they remember what Hurricane Irma did to the Riverside area in 2017. If we get high winds, the last time the hurricane came from the west instead of coming from the east, it did seem to do more damage. In 2017, Irma barreled up the west side of the state but still drenched the Jacksonville area. The storm created heavy flooding, particularly in the Riverside area. Good evening, thank you for joining us for this briefing on Hurricane Ian. City of Jacksonville leaders today encourage residents to take Hurricane Ian seriously and prepare for a major storm. I asked Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry what the city is doing to make sure Ian doesn't have long lasting effects like Irma did. Our public works is doing what they always do. They've just stepped it up, which is cleaning ditches and preparing areas around the city. Curry added the city prepares for events like this all year long. My budgets have reflected, recent budgets have reflected resiliency and preparation for this type of an event. There's only certain measures that you can take. I spoke with Jordan Heldman, who says people should never take hurricanes lightly. You should definitely take everything on this aspect seriously because it's unpredictable and you know it happens fast. He asked when storms like this comes his way, it always concerns him. I have family members out here, I have people out here and stuff that like I care about. So it's like they're a lot closer to it than I am. So that's really my main concern.